All right, so decided to add white and immediately was punished for it, so we have to mulligan. And man, looks like we're gonna not last very long with these kind of draws. I'm hopefully not playing some black discard or aggro deck and draw poly a combination of those two. All right, hopefully we draw some spells that aren't Woodfall Primus is very soon. And what are you gonna do? Problem with ramp decks. Stupid. Talk greedy. Want to have fun. And instead of having fun, we're gonna cast zero spells. Excuse me. We attack we attack for two. And also they have nothing? That'd be bad. Alright, land, nothing. Okay, perfect. Alright, so, not doing terrible, still a while away from doing anything spectacular, but Oracle and Tagarish will hold off a little bit. Let's see what he has. So I changed it to 5 planes, I think, and 12-ish forests, so 17 lands. Out of the wake the two wrath and the sun titan to do some cool stuff with. He doesn't play no if he misses a creature again that'd be optimal. I don't guess he's a two blood gast and doesn't have another land. Well that's really good. And drawing another nine mana spell for us is not the best. But I guess if we get another creature in our hand we can just play it for seven. I think if we get Oracle out and then Prime Lands, I think we're in good shape. Alright, so what we really want to do is make sure we save up 10 here if possible, which we're not going to be able to do, I guess. Unless we do an Arbor Elf right now. And Blue. Well, that could be bad for us. Let's see what he's got. Buried Alive. Ooh. Let's see. This is interesting. He's going to be reanimated, we're going to be tooth and nailing. Seems like an exciting match. Bloody Gift Demon. Consecrated Sphinx. People are going to get that Frexy Metamorph, but that card's too good to end your all's message. Okay, we mil milled all the good stuff there. Alright, so Oracle. And a Basalt Monolith. I'll play the planes like. Keep path open, but not like we do. It's not like we do. Alright, so even if so if he goes reanimated consecrated sphinx, we could be in trouble. Getting three good creatures seems weird since it would seem to me it's three reanimation spells or ways to get things out of the graveyard. Like a shield dread. But you have gotten shield dread, I think if you had it. So what are we gonna do here? If the next card is a land, we have seven next turn. I think we just block. And then the Garrick can block for himself. And we already got our Oracle, our Oracle did what we needed to do, which is play a land, trade a guy. A little Psalm, some Anacrim action. Let's see what he wants to do with his deck now. Mystical Tutor. It seems like I'm sure want to play right now. Hopefully we land our Primal Hunter and get in the way. Okay. So he gets a Congregate Sphinx, I get an Oracle. That's not the best. Okay, that's fine. If we can get his Woodfall Primus in play, that would be just ridiculous. Can we accept for the Salt to do that? We don't understand why that one swamp. Oh, okay, so he used the first ability. Right, okay. That's fine. 
right, so that's six. Playing Basalt Mons and tapping it doesn't do much, I guess it, it doesn't really matter when we play this, I guess. We could play Basalt Monolith. He taps it down to six. He gets Consecrated Sphinx in play. And then we go get two of our best creatures. Which... I think that seems like the best. Hmm. No, oh, because then we lose. So if we play Garrick, it's no longer good when he exhumes his Consecrated Sphinx. I think we just gotta risk it and go for the Tooth and Nail here. Let's see how else we're gonna win this game otherwise. So he's presumably going to resume this turn. Now he has two islands out, that's not good for us. I mean, if I draw a land, I'm definitely only going to <clears throat> play. I'm not, I don't know if I entwine through the nail then. Exhum. Targeting what? Consecrated sinks. Oracle. Well, too bad we can't reveal that land. Oops. Well, that's too bad. Alright, so... Entwine. Let's see if we can get stop this Consecrated Sphinx. Or am I just counter it? Ooh, look at that. We get our stuff. So, Platinum Angel Avenger, does that, Platinum Angel Avenger, stops us from losing, Rophelos, let's add a billion mana next turn, Terastodon, kills his lands with some attack, so we get Platinum Angel, And maybe we just play with full primates here. And I guess we'll get a hmm this is the I have the vendor in the card seems like it's the best. And then we'll play that. And I'll play that. And kaboom. Make a bunch of things. Play a land. Do not play a land because we're out of land drops. And turn this around kind of fast. Yes, please. Make big lands. Alright, so if we can't kill our Platinum Angel, we're in pretty good shape actually. Saying that it's the card that says you can't lose the game. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what he has here. I'm assuming he has some kind of kill spell, but he still can't actually get through with anything else besides the Consecrated Sphinx. And I get a 6 victory to land I control when I play that. It's a pretty cool ability. Shadow Mage Infiltrator. Sure. Draw all your lands. See if we can make this smaller. There we go. That's much better. Kind of put this in our hand, like right here. Maybe that's free. <laughs> now let's get confused when there's a non land on top. Alright, so it doesn't even attack. I guess he's scared of the backswing here. Sure, you may draw two cards. Let's get some plant tokens. Yes, I do wish to use the ability. Um, I mean, playing Primal Hunter, a player on Mana Leak. 
playing Whoop Full Primus will kill land, not doing much. Let's see we if we attack with everything. One, two, three, four. He blocks four of my creatures, takes a minimum of twelve, he goes to fifteen. Hmm. I think I think I'll just play the Primal Hunter. I don't think I want to draw cards since I don't I don't know if that's good or bad. I draw three. So I'll draw five cards. He'll guarantee to draw a removal spell, but then we can play Garrick. And maybe something else that we draw on Tav Lands and overrun next turn. But then he's forced to but then if he attacks Garrick we can't overrun. That's probably not the best. All right, so let's put. So if I put a beast into play, he can just attack. I don't think I want to draw that many cards. I think that's bad. All right, and my turn. All right, so we kept up with his plan. So we can just do ours a little bit faster. We could be good. Maybe game two will bring in some of the more mid-range stuff so we can kind of slip under his counter spells and discard it he'll bring in for our big spells. Okay, so I think I block here. I don't know if he knows what fear is, but let's see what happens. I don't think there's a spell in blue-black that punishes me for blocking, and there's not. I think he forgot what fear was. So that's good. Got that out of the way. So we'll land here, probably wins it. Unless he has something else here. A little morbid card. I don't even know if there's any morbid blue and black cards in the cube. Or just some good card. Haven Gold Witch. Okay, well that's an interesting one. So he still blocks for one, two, three, four, five. So a land wins it. So I'm definitely gonna just draw probably. Actually this card wins it too. So, I draw a card, I draw lots of them, Boom. yep, 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 okay, right click, I want to yield these please, always yield too, I think that's what I want, right, I don't even know how to get rid of these the fastest way. I assume he's going to keep drawing until he finds an answer. The overwhelming force we're about to have. So right, one, two, three, four. They get blocked. One, two, three, four, five, six get through. So play us land. Week. Far seek. That feels overkill, but oh, my library's over here now. That's too bad. I got a planes. Make even bigger guys. And he quits. Woo! All right, so Avenger and Platinum Angel. Nice. All right, so now that he's gonna bring in stuff for this plan might be worth the kind of side into a more mid-range plan. I think we brought in these five guys. So let's bring in this, bring in that, bring in this, bring in this, bring in that, take out the white, take out these, Get a far seek because that doesn't do anything anymore. So 16 there, get out of land here. 
I guess the daybreak ring doesn't really do anything in this deck anymore. And then... I guess it doesn't really do anything either. Alright, we'll submit this. Get me to the white. It was fun while it lasted. Alright, so let's see whether we went first or second and whether we gotta keep bland or not. It'd be pretty awesome if we like a waterfall primer then we can maybe just talk about just discarding it. Eh, that's what happened. Eh, no, nah, just kidding. We'll just go Wood Elves into Primal Hunter. No, we will not. No, we will not Mulligan. Right, let's go Figor. Oh, another last Raider. Jeez. It's an interesting deck he has. For sure. Oh, turn three, Garrick Primal Hunter. I will take it. <laughs> that was a sweet draw. Um, sweeter would probably be Rofellos. Yeah, I'm blocking. Sure. Blocks. What do you got? Land nothing? Seems like a death. They wouldn't have a lot to do on turn two. We have to get Blood Gas or Exhum. Alright, so. Now we can either play Basalt Monolith, get up to six next turn, or play Wood Elves. I'm going to play Wood Elves. This interaction on Magic Online is so much worse than real life. Where you can just kind of just tap it like it is a land world, except in times when you can't. Alright, so we get a forest, and we get a turn. Alright, this one, I still probably won't block, but it's definitely an option now. I'm trying to, st But actually, I'd rather save it for the Garrick, to protect my Garrick. There are no blocks. Nope. This is this is a sweet one. This little brew right here. A little brewski. Alright, he's got an island. I gotta be careful with play now. I think what I'm gonna do is just play Call of the Herd. That's okay if that gets countered. And we'll attack, because we're not gonna lock with these guys. We'll get our damage. Boom. Ching. Calling in the herd. I do like this card against these, like, against this deck since he probably boarded into something that he wanted to slow us down with. So if we can kind of slip under his radar, deal a couple damage, win the game. Alright, Bull at Stronghold. I guess that's one reason why he buried out all three of those creatures so he can draw them on demand. The draw messenger is just one of those cards, three black. It's just it's a lot of black to play in this deck with a blue, a couple blue lands, and a Volash Stronghold. The Lake of the Dead might help out with that. And he's thinking about attacking here. Once again, blue and black are not known for their tricks, so I don't see why I wouldn't block here. Yeah. I don't see this going well for him. I'm gonna call his bluff. If, he, if it is a bluff, if it's not, it's not. This is how, this is the second time he did this where he responded to something mystical tutor. And he's not gonna draw the card that he searches out. Yeah, like once again, I don't, unless he's a card and how they draw him a card, I don't, don't understand the point of that. Seems bad to me. Now he's tapped out of blue. We have five. So what do we do? He goes search for tomorrow, basalt monolith, 
the bender's end of car next turn. No, we can't do that. I gotta can't do that either. Alright, untap. Mm -hmm. dick, 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 dick. Garrick Primal Hunter. Make the beast. And then we attack for four, and that mystical dude was quite bad. If I do say so myself. He didn't even get his exhume, which seems to be the way he's going to win these games. Alright, so this is going pretty well. I kind of like the mono green shell as well as the green splash white shell. They're both, they both have their merits, it seems. Alright, so I'm just going to attack here before I do anything else. That seems like the play. We don't have to disfigure something, he can disfigure something. And he does, okay, that's fine. Pick seven. Play the salt monolith. Play a search, suspend a search for tomorrow. Let me play that, and I'll put a beast in play. Alright, end the turn. No, no effects. And it looks like we won again. Nice. Good deck.